Hi, I'm Blair Gilbert of Gilbert's Pro Hardware in Sinclair Shores, Michigan and MrHardware.com here to do a brief dissertation about ground fault interrupter receptacles. A ground fault interrupter receptacle is something that is used in kitchens, bathrooms, garages, basements, and near swimming pools. What this device d does is it measures electrical usage between the two prongs. It does not measure against the ground. So what it does is if as little as five milliamp meters of electricity is missing between these two prongs. In other words, it's going out to your toaster and it's coming back. If five milliamps or less or more is missing going through your body to ground, this device will trip, disconnecting the circuit, saving your life. So what happens here, a GFI, when these get installed, Quite often we're in bathrooms replacing them where there's many wires. What happens is on this device there is brass, there's a zinc screw and a brass screw. The rule of thumb is black to brass, white to white metal. Now you can also read the back of the device and it says white. So when we take out a regular receptacle and we go to install this, we can pull this out. We can take, we put the two white wires in the white holes and when we tighten the screw that will clamp those wires in there. So we install, we'll do this real quick, we install the white wires and we tighten all these screws twice. When we put them in we tighten them up nice and snug, snugger than I am here for the demonstration. We tighten them up nice and snug and then we come back to this device after a few minutes and we tighten up these screws again. And the goal here is, is that after the metal gets clamped in and it fatigues or conforms to the clamping, you can come back at a later date and get another turn on those screws and make them tighter. So this device is kind of nice. It allows us to do two wires at a time. What it doesn't allow us to do is to do two grounds at a time. There's only one screw and by code we can only put one wire per screw when we're doing wiring. So we can take and we have to take our two grounds, because they only give us one hole. We put our two grounds together with a wire nut and a short, this is called the pigtail, and then the pigtail we'll put into the device. Should have left my glasses on. We put the pigtail in the device and we tighten up the screw and we secure the ground. Now the most common problem I have in my store with these is, folks are doing this, they're in their bathroom, and there's more than two Romexes in the bathroom. There's a third Romex. Well, what should happen is all the black wires from all three, one each from all three Romexes, and a short black pigtail should be wire nutted together. So there's only one screw going to this device. Because here's what goes wrong. The, underneath this yellow tape is called the load of this GFI. The load means it's the output. It's got some handy screw holes that everybody wants to use. The problem is this, the, the load side of this GFI is controlled by the GFI. So if this GFI trips, whatever we hook up to the load side is going to get shut off from power. Now, what will happen is, is when they were wiring your house, they brought the electricity in and out of the bathroom then they went out of here, they could have gone downstairs to your sump pump or to your freezer or refrigerator. And so if this device trips because your daughter was using her hair dryer and she tripped it and she didn't realize and she left, from the minute she left, your fridge or sump pump was no longer getting power. The other thing that can happen bad is the power leaving here could be going to the adjoining bathroom. Goes to the adjoining bathroom, or sorry, I'm going to try cutting that out. Okay, just okay. keep going. What happens, the other thing that can go wrong with using the output of this is this electricity could be leaving and going to the adjoining bedroom. In that bedroom could be your kid's computer or your den with your computer. You could be doing some serious word processing. This trips, someone trips this in the bathroom and then that bedroom, that computer goes offline while it was doing some work hence ruining the, corrupting the data on that computer. 
So you never want to use the output of a GFI unless you know what you're doing. Well, one thing that we do know is we can have a garage. We can come into the garage and we have some receptacles in this garage. Our electricity comes in and we can go to the GFI for the first electrical run. Then we can use the load, which I'm warning you about, and we can use the load to go feed the other receptacles in that, in that, bath, in that garage wall. What will happen is, is this one GFI can protect all these devices that are downstream. So you only have to buy one GFI and that could control all the receptacles in your garage or in your basement. You come and do a remodel in the basement. You can use put a GFI in the first box and let that GFI run all the receptacles down that rest of that circuit. So one device will protect your whole room. One last thing about GFIs. When my customers call me and tell me that part of their house is out of power, their bedroom and their front room is out of power, the first thing I tell them if they haven't done any wiring or any maintenance, electrical maintenance in the house, is go in your bathroom and reset your GFI. You won't believe how many people call me back and go, how did I know that? That's because so many people need those extra holes, don't know about pigtailing, and they'll wire out of the GFI not knowing where the electricity is going. So stay off the yellow tape unless you know where you're going with that power.